Okay, hello everybody for another episode of Dream Creatures here on the Let's Dream podcast. Okay, sorry about the wait and uh, I know a lot of people have been sending dreams and been wanting to see the art behind them. Just been working a lot um, at my day job. So, but I don't think anybody cares about that. So let's go on to the actual dream creatures and dream story art. Okay, so starting us off, this one. Um, so the dreamer had dreamt that they were like in some sort of a, I don't know, like other world where it was like desert and... There was a fort and there were these people that had to harness the energy of these like pink crystals and i thought it was a very cool sci-fi dream this is what i came up with based off of their description if you're watching this let me know what you think if this came close to how you dreamt it uh, this one's pretty self-explanatory i think the dreamer just played a lot of like Luigi's Mansion or something, or Super Mario, clearly a Super Mario fan. Um, they just had a dream where they saw Mario and Luigi on top of a box in a mansion, and they were kind of like holding each other in a very afraid kind of setting. So that's pretty much it for that one, kind of self-explanatory. I don't think there's much that needs to be said about that. Um, this is a dreamer had dreamt that they were in a forest and these like demon creatures started following them This is kind of how I imagined them um, Yeah, that's pretty much it um, I'm kind of going through these a little faster just because there is a ton and I probably won't get through all of them in this episode I'll probably have to shoot another one tomorrow or the day after um, this one is pretty much, um, <laughs> the dreamer dreamt that there was this giant kind of like gingerbread man in her room, except the gingerbread man had like fur all over them. And they just kept saying like, uh, da dinga, da dinga, da dinga. And like in a lower and lower voice. Um, and that's it though. Nothing else happened. Still kind of like a weird occurrence and the this one was really freaky so the dreamer said that she dreamt that she i guess drew like an upside down was it was it called like a pentagram on this mannequin and then the mannequin became possessed and like came to life or it possessed if that's called if that you can call that being alive and then started chasing the dreamer definitely uh, a nightmarish dream and then this one where the dreamer, <laughs> they found all these like wizard, not wizards, lizards um, that were all kind of like injured and beat up and they weren't sure why. That's pretty much it for the dream. Um, this dreamer dreamt that there were these like rock structures rock like structures and there were like these monkeys or apes chimpanzees if i remember correctly that were uh, inside of the bigger ones on the bottom and on the top there were smaller containers with babies in them and i think after that they woke up they didn't they didn't really see how that played out i'm not sure that i would want to see that that sounds terrifying um I would be so scared for those babies. Um, this one was kind of romantic in a very, I don't know, weird way. But it's almost like uh, being with your loved one and watching the end of the world kind of scenario. The dreamer said that they were with, I forget if they said it was their crush or like uh, their partner. But they were just sitting down and watching a sunset and all of a sudden a nuclear explosion went off in the distance. So they just kind of like made out as they they as they disintegrated um so yeah <laughs> i don't know if that's romantic or kind of like i don't know i guess it's kind of romantic um 
so this one, the dreamer went to the theater, and I think they said they were the only one in the theater, and they saw, um, what was it from Ducktales, like Dewey and I think Daisy is her name. No, not Daisy. Maybe Daisy. And um, they were like in a World War II trench, and all of a sudden, like uh, Huey or Dewey or Louie, I forget which one wears the blue shirt like gives a thumbs up and it's like everything's gonna be okay and then like they show like their vampire fangs um that's pretty much it the dreamer didn't give much other information uh this one was kind of cool <laughs> and weird let me see if i could zoom in so this was a uh, dreamer said that they had dreamt that they were um a wizard on a broomstick in a cavern shooting energy blasts out of their hand but the funny thing is is like the dreamer was a guy and he was wearing a skirt um that's what that's what i came up with or at least that's what i thought of um and then the next one this one was kind of like a they said that they dreamt it was like, like a Scooby-Doo adventure and they had to find this um, weird mask that had like cartoony grin and large teeth. Anyway, I just imagined... He, the dreamer said that the guy in their group that kind of looked like Freddy from Scooby-Doo picked that up and then I guess asked it some questions. Um, this is kind of like what I imagined. Kind of freaky. Um, this one was basically the, the dreamer was on the beach with a friend and then all of a sudden the black hole opened up and then everybody just started getting sucked in, into the black hole. It's pretty terrifying. I think they woke up right after that. Um, all right, I'm just going to go over like three more cause there's a bunch. Um, so this one. I didn't really do that good of a job drawing this one because it kind of looks like a zombie but actually what happened was the dreamer dreamt that they were getting like pinned up against the wall by this guy that was just like throwing up blood all over them very disgusting i like how the drawing came out though um oh yeah and they said that the the guy was kind of like bluish like they had like hypoxia or something um and then this one is the dreamer, like before going to bed, they had killed a bunch of ants. And I guess in their dream, the ants like went to take revenge and like started surrounding the dreamer. So that's what I came up with. You're probably noticing that a lot of these look like me. And that's because people usually don't give me a description of what they look like. And if they don't, I just draw myself because I don't know who else am I going to draw. And this last one, um, this was actually from a live stream that I did where people were just kind of like writing in a description of their dream characters. And I just kind of sketched it out on the go, kind of like a police dream sketch. I really like doing that and I want to do that more. I just, my, just, my schedule just doesn't allow that currently. Um, but yeah, so there was, there was like a walking tree human being. Well, I guess not a human being, but a humanoid looking tree walking around. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the dreams, dream creatures for this episode. If you have any that you want to share with us, please do so at our subreddit on Let's Dream Podcast or our Let's Dream Podcast. Or you can also just drop us a comment or on Spotify or Apple Podcasts or on the YouTube section, you know in the comments, whatever's convenient. And remember to subscribe to the infinite universe within your head. That is the world of dreams. And, you know, maybe give us a like if you found any entertainment value in any of this. That's pretty much it. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time.